Seems that Marquis here was a sweet boy before his brother died. It was only after that he became a heartless bully who loved to see others in pain. But the fact remains that Yannicka is dead because of it. So now you decide. Should Mark Harris be forgiven? Who pay for his crime? Shit. I don't have a choice. I think I'm supposed to choose one. Yannicka died because of him. He deserves no part of it whatsoever. <laughs> Sheriff Matthews loves order above anything else. That's probably one of the reasons that led him to the military. He wanted that same order at home, because he wanted his son to follow his footsteps. This potential crime, the death of Annika, could jeopardize all the plans he had for Desmond. He dropped the investigation out of love and fear for his son, but Annika's dead. Doesn't her mother deserve justice? You decide. Should Jack Matthews be forgiven? Or pay for his crime? I guess I must decide again. Annika's mother deserved the truth, and he did everything he could to stop her from knowing what happened. That man outside has a gun in the dashboard. Two police officers have been shot. They're lying dead on the ground. Do I need to spell it out for you? Now you can give him the keys. Or use the matches. Looks like a gasoline canister. I found the keys. Here you go. Now, do your part as agreed. Give me some light on that direction. Okay! Get going! I want to get out of this place. Ben Harris, the post office chief. He loved his quiet life, with his books and his dogs. Used to help in church and organize trips for children. Life was good. But then his nephew, Mark, got in trouble. There was an accident, and a girl got killed. The case was closed, but her mother was sending letters denouncing what happened to everyone she could. Ben was sorry for the girl. But he had to protect Mark, so he made sure the woman's letters never left Doramont. No one would know. Ben is someone who could be considered a decent man. But he helped cover up the death of Annika to protect his nephew. Should Ben Harris be forgiven or pay for his crime? Here we go again. As another accomplice, he knew full well what he was doing. Dedicate your whole life to helping others. That's what the chief did his whole life. He was so dedicated to the fire department that he often forgot he had to be a father to his son. This time he didn't forget. And so he colluded with the sheriff to drop the investigation and protect their sons. Keith Bradley was a noble man. But he helped cover up the death of a little girl. What do you decide? Should Keith Bradley really be forgiven? pay for his crime. Hopefully, this is the last time. The chief is a liar. He should have done something. Get down! 
There's plenty of light around. I'm Jeff. I'm in charge here. I can't go down while that monster is down there. Well, what do you want me to do? I need to turn this spotlight and point it at the path. I'm not getting down. Don't touch that light. Then get down here. It's safe. No, don't do that. You can't leave me in the dark. He refused to help anyone who came here. Shot at them to scare them away. Shot at you. Tried to kill you. Now he begs you not to touch the light. You could try to find an alternative, but I always say, a man's character is his fate. be an asshole, but he doesn't deserve to die. She was getting the van to help these people on the supermarket. That's what she told them. She got in the van and got away. Left them behind. They're all dead now. There is no such thing as an accident. It is fate misnamed. The smoke is gonna kill her. She'll only survive if I open the door. She's out cold, but at least now she can breathe. Maybe she panicked. Who knows? I can't judge her for that. I must do the ritual and end this. Let's try this. <clears throat> Maldefidi Boli Gistra. You almost convinced me you were a nice person. Almost. But you certainly have proved that you're no different from these town folk. Quick to judge, but slow to self-correct. Did you really need to kill that person? Who are you to decide? You can't judge without understanding the reasons. People say I'm evil, but am I really? The guilty were punished. The innocent were left alone. Are you innocent, Edward? What's going on? I'm back at the motel. Diane. She's dead. Did I shoot her? <gasps> Open up. We know you're inside. Come out with your hands in the air. seeing you, 